Hey guys, HBV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some pretty cool things to take a look at. We've had an update about Cynthia in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. We have some more potential rumors and leaks to go over regarding Legends Arceus. And then as well as that, we have something about the Nintendo Switch to take a look at too. So quite a few things to take a look at today. If you are excited for the video though, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really, really does help out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we mentioned in today's video. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and take a look at the latest news. So, starting things off, we're going to be taking a look at the new update for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And it is in regards to Cynthia, the champion of the Sinnoh region. So this was a tweet from Eclipse who says, Update, BDSP. If you haven't noticed yet, in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, all trainers teams, important and not, present some differences. So here he's basically saying that all of the NPCs, so when, whether they're like a random trainer that you just fight in Eternal Forest or if it's like a gym leader or Elite Four member or whatever, a lot of their teams are different. They're taking inspiration from Diamond and Pearl and Platinum, which is a really, really cool concept because you don't really know what team you're going to be going up against, which I really, really like the idea of. I think that's really, really cool. Um, so basically here he says, in some cases, the teams are the same as Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. And then in other cases, the teams are the same as Pokemon Platinum. A few others have new movesets not seen in past games. So that's in regards to like the starters, for example. We saw Turtwig use a Leafage. I think we saw Chimchar use Mac Punch. Um, basically, a lot of the Pokemon have had updated movesets, which isn't really a surprise because there's new moves since the original Diamond and Pearl games and the Sinnoh Pokemon deserve those new moves. Um, but this is the interesting part um, because this person DM'd Eclipse saying... It seems like the new Pokemon Center Switch case confirms that Cynthia is using her Platinum team. So a lot of us thought that she was going to be using her Diamond and Pearl team because, well, it's Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. But in regards to this case, it looks like she's using her Platinum team because she has Milotic, Spiritomb, Lucario, um, Garchomp, and the Rosa Raid. But here she has Togekiss. So she doesn't have Togekiss on a Diamond and Pearl team. She has a Gastrodon. But on this new merchandise, it shows her having a Togekiss. So we can kind of come up with the idea that that means that she's going to have her Platinum team in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl because they're using this merch to sell Brilliant Diamond. Like, it's Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl merch. Why would they have her Platinum team on some merch when she's not got that team in the game, if you get what I mean? Um, we also have this um, comment on my video from yesterday as well from Tobio. So if you're watching this, really cool comment from you who said BDSP movesets are updated. Um, so as we've just spoken about with like Turtwig and Chimchar, these are some other updated movesets that are available, like, well, that are going to be in Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And he says that Saturn's Toxicroak used Toxic, uh, Jupiter's Skuntank did Snarl, and Candice's Abomb Snow used Blizzard. All moves they didn't have before. So just more of a, um, I guess just more evidence to support the fact that these Pokemon do have new updated movesets. And if we go to our actual teams in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, well, in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and Pokemon Platinum, this is the only thing that I'm worried about because in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, Cynthia was harder to beat in my opinion, because her levels were higher. Like, her Spiritomb was level 61, Roserade was 60, Gastrodon was 60, Lucario 63, Milotic 63, and then Garchomp was 66. And also, Garchomp had a Citrus Berry. However, in Platinum, they just shoot the levels down. So, Spiritomb loses three levels, goes down to 58. Uh, Roserade goes down to 58. Togekiss comes into the team, who's still level 60, the same as Gastrodon. But then Lucario loses three levels, Milotic loses five levels, and then Garchomp loses four levels. And if they're using her Platinum team, I'm probably going to say that they're going to use the same levels as well, which for me is a little bit unfortunate. I want Cynthia to be as hard as possible. She's the hardest champion in the Pokemon, re like the Pokemon world. Well, uh, I guess uh, to a lot of people's opinions, but she just has such a crack team. Um, so yeah, the fact that if they are using her Platinum team, they're probably going to lose levels as well is going to be unfortunate. The best of both worlds would be her Platinum team with the levels that she had in Diamond and Pearl, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Um, but yeah, basically an update to Cynthia's uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl team there. Most likely going to be using her Platinum team and probably going to have the downgrade in levels as well. Um, coming up next, we actually have a new Pokemon Sleep um, update, which is crazy because Pokemon Sleep 
we haven't had any updates about this game or this mobile app in a long ass time but now we're getting another one so this was tweeted out from Kilios a few days ago well yesterday on 27th of October we actually had another update about it today as well from Melka um, so basically the first update was from Kilios saying two years after its announcement for a 2020 Pokemon Sleep release seems to be approaching. The tests are being done on the Japanese side of the Pokemon company. So they're testing Pokemon Sleep right now. It has not been abandoned. Pokemon Sleep is still in production. We're supposed to come out in 2020. We're nearly in 2022. But it is being made. They are still working on it. And hopefully at some point soon we do get an update. For right now, I could just see them releasing it around the time of like Legends Arceus and BDSP because I guess it just makes sense, just more Pokemon stuff. Um, but yeah, just to everyone that thinks that they're not working on it anymore, they are still working on it. They, they, it's ironic because they literally slept on Pokemon Sleep. But um, yeah, it is being made. It is uh, having tests done on it right now um in uh, on the japanese side uh, we also have this as well which is more subdomains for pokemon sleep um so these are more pokemon sleep test subdomains so if you go to the website it basically just comes up it takes for a while to load but it basically just comes up with like the yeah I'm not, it's just gonna take forever to load yeah i can't be bothered with that but basically it just shows like all the different subdomains and stuff and the tests and everything like that so um yeah basically moral of the story pokemon sleep is being made still they haven't forgotten about it they haven't abandoned the project it is still a thing so yeah next up let's go over these new potential rumors or leaks ball guy leaks has tweeted something out again um i love how the fact they have reliable in their, <laughs> in their bio by the way um but yeah the reliable ball guy leaks has posted something else which i don't even think is a leak or a rumor to be fair like i, I mean this guy apparently has credibility and like i say he got the zoro and zorok thing right but basically he says hashtag pokemon leak legends some pokemon moves are designed to hit the trainer as well during normal battles trainer can faint for this more soon and then he goes on to say specifically designed for this reason like a secondary effect these types of moves are for legends games we already know about that we literally saw in the trailer uh, when it came out midweek about legends arceus we have the hisuian zorok using whatever it is snarl or dark pools on the god of war you can literally see the trainer getting hit i even spoke about it in that video <laughs> like this isn't a leak we already know about this information i guess the only new thing is that the trainer can faint for this but yeah we know we know the trainer can faint when it lose when like you lose all your health or whatever this isn't a leak i don't know why they posted this at all if anything i think this hurts their credibility because they've just posted something and called it a leak but it's information we already know about. Like, there's nothing new here. Like, we know that we get hit from moves in battle. We saw it in the trailer. It's, it's why has he tweeted this out? I don't know. Um, and then people are even, like, basically saying this in the comments. Like, wow, you saw it in the trailer revealing Zoro. Extraordinary. Like, I don't know. I, it, it, for, for me, this hurts his credibility. Because he's just tweeted something out that we already know about. This isn't a leak in the slightest. The only difference is he's put the trainer can faint but i mean obviously that's going to be the case like we know that the trainer can faint if you get hit by a move you're going to faint so yeah i don't know it is what it is but i thought i'd include that in today's video because a new tweet whenever ball guy leaks tweet something everybody kind of loses their mind because apparently he's like super reliable they ain't a leak <laughs> anyway finishing things off we have this on nintendo everything which is a actual potential leak or data mine for the new nintendo 64 sega genesis nintendo switch update so this like i said posted on nintendo everything and it's titled nintendo switch online data mine hints at many new nintendo 64 and sega genesis games potential future platform so this was posted yesterday by brian and he says a twitter user mondo mega has extracted new information about potential plans for nintendo switch online thanks to a recent data mine it goes without saying that additional titles are planned for the future at least on the nintendo 64 side of things nintendo has already confirmed several heavy hitters including zelda majora's mask paper mario pokemon snap and banjo kazooie so based on mondo mega's data mine nintendo may have at least 38 nintendo 64 titles on the way going off of listed game ids there could also be 52 sega genesis games in the works 
Many are speculating that we could see the likes of original Super Smash Bros and more Mario Party games for the Nintendo Switch Online plus expansion pack service since the list is in alphabetical order and you can kind of fill in some of the gaps. And then they go on to say, we'll show the tweet in a minute, and he says, so the same data mine also includes information about platforms on Nintendo Switch Online since the first number of each game ID corresponds to the platform. We have NES at 1, um, SNES at 2, Nintendo 64 and, at 3, and Sega Genesis at 5. That means there's a spot open for 4. Nintendo hasn't announced anything on this front, though there's been talk about Game Boy and Game Boy Color titles appearing on the Switch Online. You can find the full list of Nintendo 64 games uh, in this uh, tweet. So basically, um, yeah, they, they've basically listed all of the kind of... Um, throwback things so like i say you've got the nest you've got the snes you've got nintendo 64 and then there's something missing and then it's sega genesis so number four people are thinking is going to be the game boy game boy advance games um that are rumored to be coming to the nintendo switch um as well but yeah this is basically a massive data mind uh just showcasing that like there's gonna be um wherever it is i don't know here it is um, or I think this is more stuff. No, this is it. So yeah, basically these are the images You can't really make out too much of them at the moment But that's because they all need to be fill in uh, or filled in so we have dr. Mario there Mario Kart Mario tennis uh, Like games that we already know is coming to the Nintendo switch uh, online kind of subscription thing But look at all these like extra gaps man. So for me that means that surely we're going to see games like Diddy Kong Racing, Pokemon Stadium 1, Pokemon Stadium 2. And if they do that, that means that those games will also have a line because we know that there is online on this Nintendo Switch thing. We know that with like uh, Mario Kart and stuff, they've confirmed that we are going to have online for the Nintendo Switch, uh, well, Nintendo 64 games that, um, that are like multiplayer and stuff. So just, God, just imagine doing Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 online mini games. Oh, mate, I'd actually, I'd actually lose it, bro. I'd actually love it so much. Like Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2 in my childhood, man. Bro, the amount of times I played those games. The mini game is fantastic, um, but yeah, of course, as I said, it's also rumored that there could be Banjo Kazooie. Uh, not Banjo Kazooie. Uh, what, what do they say? Um, they said something here about what else could appear. Super Smash Bros. Like the original Nintendo uh, 64 Super Smash Bros., which is just ah, uh, so just a throwback. Mario Party. Oh, I'd love to play. I know that we're getting like the new Mario Party at the end of this month. Um, in fact, it's coming out, what, tomorrow, I think? <laughs> I don't know, I swear it's like really, really soon. Uh, I know we're getting that as well, but just playing it on Nintendo 64 again would be mad. I really, really hope this is true, but um, it looks to be. It looks to be true, so we'll have to wait and see for that. But that is going to be everything for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we mentioned in today's video, the Nintendo 64 stuff, what you think about Ball Guys Leap now, and also, are you happy or sad that Cynthia's going to have a Platinum team? What do you think about the levels? Do you think they are going to be scaled down a little bit to the Platinum games? Or do you think it's going to still be with Diamond and Pearl? Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell. That's everything from me. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.